The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Richard Martin here with head beach volleyball coach Kat Lynn and coach Kat, you know, it's been an interesting year, been an interesting first year, of course, yep. for you. <laughs> and there's been some challenges, but you finally have what you think will be the 2021 beach volleyball schedule. What were yeah. some of the challenges you faced making this schedule? Um, well, first and foremost, with like most people, um, COVID's definitely been a challenge for us. Um, and then having indoor in the spring too, um, has put a couple of challenges for us, um, but we're really just grateful and really blessed that we even get the opportunity to play. Uh, last year, our season got cut short because of COVID, um, so we're just really grateful that we have teams that are willing to play us. Because um, of COVID, we're having to do a lot of regional traveling. Um, typically, we do a lot of traveling because we don't have a conference, um, but this year we're definitely staying closer because of that. So. And we'll just dive right into the schedule. Your first weekend, you'll be at home, and March 12th will be an exhibition yes. scheduled for Erskine. March 13th, try match with Erskine and Tusculum. But it's just kind of crazy that it's been the first time almost two years that Carson Newman get to play at home because of last year's cancellation. Mm -hmm. How important is it for this team to get to play at home, possibly yeah. in front of fans, and just be able to create kind of a home field advantage? Yeah. We have a very experienced group of girls um, and a lot of seniors. Um, and they haven't really had a home match. So it was really important to me to make sure that we got that on the schedule right away um, and make sure that it was one of the first weekends just in case something happened. Um, but being able to be home, especially against Tesla, is really going to help us a lot. Um, and I definitely think the girls play well here um, and they're comfortable here. So that will definitely have an advantage for us when we play them. March 16th, you go to UT Chattanooga, face a couple of Division One schools in Southern yeah. Miss and host UT Chattanooga. Then, you know, they've played a bunch of D1 schools over the history of this program and recently have been able to get away with some wins and steal mm -hmm. some wins. Playing Division One talent like that, what is, does that kind of give you a test of how good you think your team really is? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the idea with that was that we would hopefully be able to help prepare ourselves for ABCA. Um, we face a lot of Florida teams when we go there um, and a lot of programs that are really successful. Um, so playing those D1 teams will definitely give us a glimpse of what that's going to be like for nationals um, and hopefully prepare us and help us with that when we get there. You take a little bit of a break and then you have one of the yeah. busiest weeks of the yep. year starting on Sunday. <laughs> you go down another Division One against Coastal Carolina for a doubleheader. Mm -hmm. A trip you were supposed to make last year before COVID-19 canceled the season. And that's yeah. a big trip because not only is it, you know, a good beach trip to get away to, mm -hmm. it's a great <laughs> test of your talent. These yeah. trips, do they kind of like, you know, help build team bonding more so yeah. than just showing off the talent on the court? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we were kind of weren't sure about Coastal Carolina and what that was going to look like for us. Um, but I was talking to my assistant and we were like, nope, we need to do this. We need to create a memory, um, especially for our seniors and just having your season get cut short is really tough um, and kind of hindered those memories as well. So we're definitely excited to be able to go a little early and just have some bonding um, and just create memories and then play a tough team. Um, that's going to be a tough match for us. It's going to challenge us, but we're experienced. We have a lot of upperclassmen on our program um, that have been through that and been with those teams that play D1 teams. So I think we'll hopefully be successful. <laughs> In March 31st, that Wednesday, your last home match of the year, doubleheader against mm -hmm. St. Andrews. Newer program, so not mm -hmm. a whole lot to know about them, yeah. really. Um, but it's going to be probably a senior day, a lot, last home game, hopefully for mm -hmm. a lot of your teammates. What can you say about your seniors, how they've handled all of this? Oh, gosh. Um, this, this group has just been such a blessing to me. Um, the seniors are a great group of leaders. We talk a lot about leading ourselves um, before we can lead other people, and they do a really great job at that. Um, and it's not just on the court, it's off the court, in the classroom, just in their everyday lives. They do a really great job of being examples for the younger girls um, and just leading our program into a successful way. They do a really great job. And then no rest for the weary. You hop on the bus, go down to Due West the yep. next day. Yep. Take on first in a double header. But um, you will you have seen them two times earlier in the year. Mm -hmm. Do you think seeing this team earlier in the year will help you out later in the year as you get ready to take them all on the road? I think it's definitely going to be a mental thing. Um, it depends on the team for us. But I think the girls are up to the mental challenge. Um, a lot of times when you play a team repeatedly, it can be really tough. Um, and it's hard to beat a team three times. 
Um, but I do think that knowing what to expect um, and kind of having those expectations going in is going to help us a lot. Um, the girls are very mentally tough in a lot of ways, and so I don't think it's going to hurt us in any way, but I think it'll help us a lot. And finally, you head down to ABCA hopefully this year. And the last time Carson Newman able to steal a victory at ABCA, this year you want to, of course, have a better showing, but also just have one last hurrah with the team. What is the ABCA experience like? ABCA is the highlight of every season. Um, it's the best of the best coming together and playing each other. Um, it's going to be tough. We're going to have a lot of tough matches. Um, but I think these girls are ready, and I think it's just going to be a great memory for them. Um, a lot of them haven't been before, um, and a lot of them know what it's like and just know the expectations of it. So I think it's going to be, it's just going to be a really great time, but I think we're going to be successful there. Coach Cat, best of luck this season. Thank you. <laughs> That's Coach Cat Lynn. I'm Richard Martin. Beach Volleyball gets started March 12th against Erskine.